to China now, where some of the 300 lawyers and activists arrested in 20, 2015 crackdown on human rights supporters are being released. They had pushed back against President Xi Jinping's move to tighten restrictions on free speech, but were arrested and sentenced for subversion of power. We hear now from one lawyer just out of prison who is rebuilding his life as well as his desire to support individual rights. A family reunited. Wang Chuanzhang, a prominent human rights lawyer, was released from prison two months ago. He's one of more than 200 lawyers who were detained in 2015 when China's government started an unprecedented crackdown on lawyers. When you lose something important and then you get it back, I could not find the right words for this feeling. It feels like something exceptionally precious, but there is also the fear that I might lose him again. Wang Chenzhang spent almost five years behind bars. Many things are new to him, like this app that recognizes the names of plants. Now I've been released, I feel drawn to nature. I often go out to enjoy it. That's how I started paying attention to plants. I want to know their names. During these years, his imprisonment also took a toll on his wife, Li Wenzhu. These people came to my house and blocked the entrance. When I tried to open the door, a man told me, if you come out, I will kill you. China's government was taking their revenge on her campaigning on his behalf. Their son, Chen Chen, also witnessed the ugly scenes. I want to take my sword and fight against them. This is what I really want to do. Wang Chenzhang was taken without warning. After that, his wife did not hear anything about him until his trial was announced more than three years later. I am very tense, very nervous. I could not sleep. On December 26th of 2018, Wang Chenzhang was charged with state subversion, a serious offense in China. Li was hoping to get a glimpse of him in court. But again, state security had gathered in front of her house. I am nervous. I have been in this situation often, but every time is different. They stopped her. This is not about the rights of relatives. This case is about state secrets. Now the family is trying to put these experiences behind them. It will take time for them to get back to a normal life. After my release, my son and I were very affectionate with each other, at least on the surface. But the estrangement is quite obvious. When I tell him something, he opposes me. He rebels. This gives me a headache. I feel embarrassed. I want us to become closer to each other. Right now, Wang Chenzhang has a lot of time to spend with his family. Authorities have revoked his lawyer's license, but he is already planning to appeal and to sue the government for its wrongdoings. Well, DW's Clifford Kunin has also reported extensively from China and joins us now. Clifford, it's been five years since China's so-called 709 crackdown in which many lawyers and activists were rounded up and jailed. Have things calmed down a bit since then, or is that cr crackdown still ongoing? Well, the way it works is these things ebb and flow. So <clears throat> we had uh, the situation on 709 where the... Um, where, where they were all rounded up, um, particularly firms like Feng Rui, uh, the law firm, we became gradually aware that there was a crackdown happening. Um, and then we were all surprised in Beijing at the extent of it. Um, but then after that, things calmed down because most of the key players have been have been rounded up. Uh, but since then, the pressure has, has, has maintained. It's still there, but um, it's not as intense as it was back then. How much is this campaign to quash dissent attributable to the rule of Xi Jinping? 
Um, I think it's directly attributable to the rule of Xi Jinping. Um, he's been in power now for eight years, and during those eight years, we've seen a lot of um, a, a major crackdown on all areas of civil society in, in China. And um, even though he's not, he's he's just doing what previous leaders did, but in a much more intense way and much more focused way. What can we expect then uh, moving forward, not just for mainland China, but also perhaps for Hong Kong in terms of how authorities deal with critical voices and dissent? Well, this is the big fear. Um, in China, you have the constitution which guarantees um, freedom of speech and, and other liberties, but clearly that, that isn't applied in many cases and the rule of the Communist Party trumps everything. Um, and this is the fear now in Hong Kong that a similar situation will prevail because under the new security law, the existing rules um, guaranteeing one country, two systems um, have seem to have been done away with. And now the fear is that's going to apply as well to other areas of life, including the legal system in Hong Kong. So it's a very real fear that um, we could see more oppression of lawyers in Hong Kong. Lawyers and anyone who voices dissent in China, they're facing some serious risks. What options do they have to, to support their cause? Well, international pressure is what um, a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of lawyers there, um, for example, and activists hope for international pressure to highlight their, their situation. Um, Hong Kong is again a very interesting test case because um, that's where the, the eyes of the world are on Hong Kong at the moment. Um, some people have made parallels like Joshua Wong with Hong Kong and Berlin that a lot of this, these two systems which are now competing, the Chinese communist government system and the Western systems are actually competing in Hong Kong. And, um, and that's going to bring international focus and attention uh, to things like lawyers and activists. So I think they're going to be looking very much at what happens in Hong Kong in the next few months. Clifford, thank you very much for your insights. DW's Clifford Coonan.